A fashion statement. A student movement in Kenosha gets results that affect the entire school district. Katie Crowther has more on the dress code policy change at Indian Trail High School. Carol and Tom, after a year long fight, the Kenosha School Board voted to implement what students have been asking for a more fair dress code. We noticed that nearly 98% of all of the things that were mentioned in the dress code were directed towards attire that specifically women wear. While basketball shorts and sweatpants are allowed, girls cannot wear yoga pants, leggings, or tops showing their shoulders. But the school board decided to change that starting next fall after students questioned the policy. They still hurt us and they appreciated that we were talking, we were speaking about this. It all started last year with the creation of the Indian Trail Women's Rights and Empowerment Group. We kind of saw the way that our social climate was in school and out of school, and we decided that something needed to be done. We all come to one and we talk about like issues that we faced or issues that are happening in the country and you know even the men in that group they talk about it too. Changing the district's dress code just a first step. My sister now is in elementary school and I want her to see that you know even in high school you can have this voice. We're here and we're ready to talk about it so we're not going away. Again students will be allowed to wear yoga pants, leggings and tank tops that have straps at least one inch thick next year as long as undergarments are not showing. So far I have not heard back from the Kenosha School District or School Board President on this change. Carol and Tom, 